Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on Apex Trigger and Test Class. Let's understand the requirement of this trigger scenario. So when an opportunity is created on any account, we need to put the latest opportunity amount on the account in the latest opportunity amount field. So basically, first of all, we need to create this field latest opportunity amount on the account. And whenever on that account, we create any new opportunity. So that opportunities amount should be available in this latest opportunity amount. And then if you create one more opportunity uh, later to uh, that existing opportunity, so the newly created opportunities amount should be populated. And, when it, and if it is null or blank, in that case, existing should be there. So to accomplish this, we need to create a trigger on opportunity. Then uh, to implement the business logic, we need to create a trigger handler class. And then uh, to cover the code, we need to write the test class for it. So I will be demonstrating trigger implementation, its business logic implementation, and the test class implementation. So let's jump to developer console. And here I'm going to check whether any opportunity trigger is implemented in my org or not. So always remember if trigger is already there on particular object, so you can uh, reuse that. Don't create new trigger for uh, different, different scenarios for one object. If you already have any trigger implemented, so you just need to reuse that. This is part of best practice. Because if you implement different, different triggers and uh, different trigger handlers, so in that case, order will not be guaranteed. So here I, I'm going to open opportunity trigger. And here you can see one method is already uh, called. That is uh, in before insert context, right? Now I'm going to write after insert event because when opportunity will be created, so uh, we need to update the related account. So in that case, like uh, we need to use after insert. So here I'm going to use these context variable like trigger dot is insert if trigger dot is before. So I can just cut and paste it here. Then I need to write else part. trigger dot is after. So now inside this block, I'm going to write my logic. So I need to call the uh, function. So I'm just going to open uh, opportunity trigger handler, right? So here one method is already implemented. I need to implement one more. So public static void populate latest opportunity amount. And here we need to use list of opportunity and OPP list. So I'm just saving this, copying this function name, and I'm going to call it here. So opportunity trigger handler dot, then populate latest opportunity amount. This is the function name. And here I need to pass trigger dot new, right? So here you can see uh, trigger is one, but it will be performing these two operations. So update description will run in the before insert context and populate latest opportunity amount will run in after insert context. If you have more than one function, so you can just uh, maintain their order of execution as well. So it is suggested uh, to use always one trigger for one object. Now we need to fill the definition of this function. So here I'm passing trigger dot new. So as in every uh, video I'm uh, demonstrating, like whenever you create new records, so all those records will be stored in trigger.new automatically. And uh, this trigger.new is a list. So if you create bulk records, so those bulk records will also be stored in this list, right? So this trigger we are implementing as a bulkify uh, a process, as a part of bulkify process. So it can handle uh, more than one records if they are inserted. And trigger.new will be passing the list into this OPP list. Now, here, first of all, I need to create account list because I need to update account records and uh, those account records which I want to update. So they will be available in this list. So 
So after creation of this list, I just need to iterate a loop on this opportunity list. So inside this loop, first of all, I'm going to check whether this OPP dot amount is not equals to null. If it is not null and OPP dot account ID is also not equals to null. So what does it mean? Like amount is not null and opportunity is linked to particular account. If it is not linked to any account, then uh, there is no need to update uh, up accounts latest opportunity amount because uh, if your opportunity is not connected with any account, so in that case, uh, there is no account to be updated, right? So uh, if these two conditions are satisfied, then only uh, this uh, business logic that I'm going to write inside this if will be executed. So here I'm going to create an instance of account, then acc.id equals to opp.account ID. So through opportunity, like uh, I already checked whether account, uh, opportunity account ID is null or not. So if it is not null, it means we know like which account is connected with that opportunity. And that account ID we are passing in this acc.id. So it means this account will be updated. And what we need to update is, so here uh, we need a field. So let me just go here under object manager and I'm searching for opportunity. And I think I already created a latest or recent Okay, I need to search it on account, sorry. Okay, it should be with name of not opportunity. No, so here uh, uh, that field is not available. So I'm just going to quickly create that. So it will be of type number. So I'm labeling it as latest opportunity amount and then I'm clicking on next. Visible to all the profiles next and save. So this way on account object that uh, latest opportunity amount field is created. So I'm copying its API name. Now I'm just going to save this code because I need to refresh this developer console if I need to use that. Or maybe uh, what I can do, I can just use the API and when I will be saving, so it will be reflected. So ACC dot latest opportunity amount equals to OPP dot amount, right? And then inside ACC list, I just need to add this newly created instance. So this way, what will happen? One by one opportunities will be available in this OPP. And uh, uh, this condition will be checking whether OPP amount is not null or account ID is not null. If it is true, then uh, that opportunity amount will be copied into this ACC instance. And uh, we are adding this instance into ACC list. So after completion of this loop, we just need to update this account list. So what I need to do, I just need to apply a null check because what, what can happen, like if you are creating any opportunity, and uh, whatever opportunities you are creating, maybe they are not connected to any account or they, their amount is null. So in both the cases, uh, this if condition won't be working and your account list will be null. So you can check it for null. If it is not null, then only you can write update ACC list, right? So this way our business logic is implemented now, whenever you will be creating any opportunity on account, so that opportunities amount will be uh, populated on that field. So I'm just going to open any account record. So here you can see two opportunities are available. If I go to details, so we have Okay, I just need to refresh because we need to search for latest opportunity amount field. 
yeah here it is now if i go to related list and try to create new opportunity putting a close date then uh, populating a stays and then amount as well so i am populating 10000 as of now and clicking on save now if i go to details so here you can see latest opportunity amount is populated as 10000 now if i go and try to create one more opportunity so that amount uh, will be updated automatically so i am populating 20000 this time and populating a close date and then stays and then save now if i go to details so here you will see 20000 is populated as latest opportunity amount so this way i hope you understood like how uh, this uh, logic is working So after implementation of a trigger and trigger handler class, uh, now it's time to implement its test class so that uh, we can cover the code. So what we can do, uh, I am just opening the existing test class, which is already implemented. So again, if test class is already implemented, so try to implement uh, one more method in that test class only so that all the uh, uh, trigger handler uh, methods will be tested through one class, right? So here I'm going to create one more method. So we need to test populate latest opportunity amount. So I'm using it here, uh, test populate latest opportunity amount. Now here, what we need to do, first of all, we need to create uh, some uh, records. So I need to create account records and uh, then opportunity records. So for both the purpose, I will be requiring lists. So first I'm creating account list. And then I'm going to create opportunity list. Right after creation of these lists, I need to uh, iterate a loop so that I can create some account records. So here for integer i equals to one, i less than equals to five, i plus plus. And here I'm creating an instance of account ACC equals to new account. Then inside, okay, so after the bracket acc dot name equals to test plus i and then i can add accounts into the list right now after completion of this loop i can just write insert acc list now after this i need to iterate on this account list and then i need to uh, create opportunity records so all the newly created accounts are available in this ACC list. So I'm iterating on this ACC list. One by one account records will be available in this ACC. And now inside this loop, I need to create opportunities. So if your test class is uh, having any other method already implemented and uh, in that uh, you find some code that you can reuse. So you can just copy that code and you can reuse it. Uh, there is another way like you can create test utility or data factory classes where you can have a common method and you can call those methods so that you can reuse uh, that particular code and the number of lines will be reduced. So here, opportunity name should be acc.name. This is the opportunity instance, then name stays, close date and amount are populated. Then opportunity is being added to OPP list. Now, after this, we can write test dot start test. And inside that we can write insert OPP list and test dot stop test. So here you can see we have two methods. So here also I use this test dot start test and stop test. And in the second method also, I'm using this test dot start test and stop test. 
So basically, when you will be running this test class, so both the methods will be having separate governor limits. So that is why it is suggested to have uh, these two statements whenever you write DML in your test methods. Now, after this, what you need to do, uh, uh, we, we just need to query the account records because on account record, we created latest opportunity amount field. So it should be having this amount populated because we created five account records and for each account record, we created one opportunity. So whenever opportunity is being created uh, related to that account, so that account should be having that uh, opportunity amount uh, populated on that latest opportunity amount field, right? So we will be comparing that field with this amount. If that field is having this amount, it means your code is working fine. But one more thing we need to add here, opportunity account ID equals to acc.id so that account and opportunity will be linked together. Now here I am writing list of account, updated account, and then select ID, then this field from account where ID equals to ACC list of zero dot ID. So I'm just querying the first record that is available in this ACS list that we inserted. So if that one record is having the updated value, so it means rest of the records are also having, uh, but randomly you can uh, query any uh, record and you can just apply system dot assert equal. So here system dot assert equals then expected and actual. So expected is available here 20,000. So maybe you can use it directly or you can use it with the help of this OPP list of uh, zero dot amount and then updated account of zero dot latest opportunity, right? So this way you can write your system dot assert equal. Okay, so what you can do, you can just copy and uh, paste it. So here, uh, instead of writing 20,000, uh, you can write OPP list of zero dot amount as well. So in both the ways, uh, it should work fine, right? So I'm going to run this test class now. So here, some tests are also available. So now I'm going to click on run test. And here you can see test is passing, nothing is failing. It means both the asserts are passing properly, right? And if I go here and if I show you like uh, whether code is covered or not, so you can just click here and select all test. So you can see all the lines are covered properly, right? So I just executed both the methods. So through both the methods, this whole opportunity trigger handler is covered. Uh, anytime, like if you want to run a particular method of this test class, so what you can do, just click on test, then new run. And from here, you can select your test class. Uh, it will give you uh, names of available methods in that test class. You can select particular method and just click on run. So now you will see only one method will be executed. So here you can see above two methods executed. If I expand this, so it will show you only one method, right? And if I go here and check, so only one method executed test populated uh, te populate uh, latest opportunity amount. And uh, uh, with this, like both are covering. So it may happen like uh, through one test method, your whole trigger is uh, covered. So it may happen. But uh, if you have uh, two methods, so you should implement two different uh, test methods in your test class. So this way, I hope you understood like how uh, we can implement the solution for this uh, trigger scenario. So I just created trigger on opportunity, then I implemented trigger handler uh, so that uh, we can have business logic. And then I showed you how you can implement test class for code coverage.